I'm just trying to have a good time Cigarette butts and moonshine I'm going redneck tonight I got my horse by my side They jumped the ditch But uh, <laughs> they did jump the ditch <laughs> Look at that They airbagged the port and everything <laughs> Damn Cork in the dipstick hole It's you better got than nothing in the dipstick hole Truck full of shit For a shit full of truck <laughs> We got this beautiful nightmare back in here. It's like deja vu, except it's not a good dream. If you had air in this tire, it'd probably move better. You should just like do that and not change the transmission out. I feel like that, that's your whole problem is this tire. It's got air in the top though. It's got air in the top. I'd be a little concerned if it was flat all the way around. My old shitbox used to look good back in its heyday. About two years ago, I think it was either two or three. Right, I believe it's two, but I got T-boned by a lady who blew through a red light in my town. And the truck used to be beautiful. It was this iris paint. I mean, I had it had a shaved roll pan on it, which you can't really tell anymore. But uh, I kind of just keep it down here and throw junk in it. Don't really want to get rid of it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It used to be a good looking truck, now it looks like what it does now. I forgot the whole video aspect in the videos is to video, but here's the TH350 out of the blue shit box. Don't mind that cluster wire, zip ties will put that right where they belong. And here's the 400 that's going in there. He's waiting on his converter from Transmission Specialties. She'll be here Friday, so hopefully we'll be able to pop it back in here during the rainy weekend. I got my horse by my side, full tank of gas in my ride. Yeah. Take a look at what the industry did to me. I was drinking Hennessy and then I had an epiphany. Got me thinking I should kill him and I'm saying it literally. Middle fingers to my enemies, I'll give him this energy. Got a horse in the back and a goat in the front. And I'm pouring out yak when I'm smoking a blunt. In a trap with a cowboy hat and a punk. Cause I ain't going out like a rat or a punk. Don't be silly, man. I really gotta kill him when I'm loading up the semi hit him in a cerebellum. I was raised on a farm in a city full of fenders. Keep a knife on deck like I'm trimming down a head. Ziggy hanging out my mouth. I got car hard on my jacket. I was raised down in the south. Eating moose meat and catfish. Everything I eat, I call flannel. Like a boss, I just watered all my crops. Load my truck, I'm taking off. We're riding down that dirt road on a Sunday night. With the windows rolled down on the countryside, saw a reflection in the mirror, and I thought, oh my, my. I said, ooh, pretty girl, you make me feel alright. Catch me drinking out the keg while my chickens hatching eggs. You would think I'd act my age, but I'm pissed like every day. Call me white trash, but I don't give a fuck. Someone Pass a zigzag, the mess get lifted like my truck. About to turn my backyard to a shooting range. Who's to blame? Headshot, I got stupid aim. I won't stop till the motherfucking rooster sang. I saw my Ford and put a hammock in my new Mustang. Yeah, I'm the real Garth Brooks of this rap shit to Billy Ray Cyrus. If he wanted, he can have it. I got Hannah Montana and my ranch getting hammered. I'm a savage, catch me hacking up wood, doing damage. All I'm saying is I ain't going out like that. Got a feather behind my ear beneath my cowboy hat. Got a year's with a deer, you can count on that. Like a steakhouse, I'm out back. Let's have a good time. Cigarette butts and moonshine. I'm going redneck tonight. I got my horse by my side. We'll take a gas in my ride. I'm just trying to have a good time. Cigarette butts and moonshine. I'm going redneck tonight. I got my horse by my side. We'll take a gas in my ride. Yeah. Yeah. This right here, he'll be able to put a pin through this. That way he can switch it to different positions and he can honestly raise it and lower it an inch or two if he wanted it a little higher, but it, we've measured it and he sat in there with his back all the way up against seat and it fits good, he's happy with it. So I'm gonna beat it up here in a minute.
car she is. With the faceplate done. Twist on around good. And now he just needs to, we marked it while I was in the truck, line that up right there and drill him a hole for him. A, I guess an old, what do you call it, alignment pin or a spin pin, locking pin, whatever you want to call it, just to hold it in place, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, yep, that's going to be, it doesn't wobble around mine actually from jigs that I bought. It's too daggum loose in this sleeve. I've even cut aluminum and tried to make aluminum shims, but it actually rocks back and forth pulling on the shifter or whatnot. So mine's, this one I made is actually a lot stronger and stiffer, but there she is. All right, I'm gonna do a little work to the tow big today. 6 I got a little warm on stops with the AC on, so I'm gonna put this it says made in use of right there. So probably somewhere over in China is where that town use is. But uh, I'm gonna put her on here, pop the shroud off and everything. Hopefully that'll cool it down. I'm planning on doing a water pump and everything too, so we'll see. Back on the 80s model. He's got a shifter mounted. Um, Although he's had problems, this shifter is actually set up for a four speed and he can't find the lockout pin to make it to three speed. So he's got a buddy that's got a three speed one he's gonna get. Hopefully he'll still be able to use this pedestal or we'll be able to, uh, you know, change up the pedestal just a little bit. But it uh, turned out pretty good in the truck. I like it. You can get the little sheet metal cover. Which makes it really nice. You get the sheet metal covers makes it nice makes it look more you know fitting in there instead of kind of just open and raw or whatever it kind of just the way i feel about it um even though i'm still running mine open I, i'm still displeased with it i need to spend the 60 dollars and get it you know quick crying about it but <clears throat> the th400's in here he had to get a drive shaft made by taylor's drive line he picked that up last night so we're gonna put it in today after he gets off work and everything um let's see what else uh put the uh drive shaft in and fill her up <clears throat> um fix that yeah fix his shifter and he'll be able to pull her out of the shop today and be ready for a tune i think he said his tune days on may 6th so the uh truck will be running pretty good then so there's that and there's also this the high stall torque converter for the 89 s10 this is going to get me the uh, 800 to 1000 RPM more than uh, what I had in the other one. So it's going to bring me up into the power band of the cam, which is good. I think he said between, uh, depending on the weight of the vehicle, it's a 3800 to 4100 RPM stall. So that's uh, pretty much right on the money. Along with the uh, torque converter, it's going to get some LS7 lifters because I'm still running the... Uh, stock lm7 lifters that i got the uh junkyard motor with basically and uh so we're gonna do that <clears throat> we'll see today's friday saturday we're gonna do kevin robinson's th400 swap and then uh maybe sunday i'll roll my truck in there after that and see what we can do and maybe it, this might come before my truck we'll see depends on if i get in this weekend the uh nothing spectacular nothing it's just gonna be some wrenching videos my 05 chevy express van the lifters is sorted raising hell and uh in the winter time it, it'll like to smoke a little bit so i'm gonna get jae to uh do the get him to check the heads clean the heads and do valve stem seals get those back 
do head gaskets on her and go ahead and head uh head stud it the cheap set of head bolts from ARP got another set of LS7 lifters <clears throat> and trays uh, dad orders one time this is on dad's account because it's the company vehicle and he's taking care of it me and Cody's just gonna work on it dad orders one time from summit and gets a uh, summit books and a free summit hat which i mean summit hat ain't really that cool but you'll like it that's cool um so we're gonna have that little wrenching video going on nothing gonna be too spectacular it's just gonna be a little bit of aggravation because it is an express van we'll have to be working through the dog box and the tiny ass hood that they got so you'll probably learn some new words on that one we'll see how it goes and then this little filler this is the 60 with the 10 over mall pistons um you know i didn't want to i was thinking very first i was going to go with 62 pistons but for a factory set of damn 62 pistons i wasn't really gaining much so I figured I'd leave as much cylinder wall there for the longevity of it. You know, it can always be punched later, but I don't think it'll need to be. There's a turbo, a time and place. Um, so I got this little guy back. We're going to find some mounts for it sometime or another. Since we're working on 89 a little bit harder now, it'll be probably a month or two before I find any mounts or even really touch this 6 to put it in there. So uh, mounts, headers, uh, cam kit. And we'll take it back to JAE so he can. He said he guaranteed me some horsepower by him clocking the cam versus me just putting it in there like everybody else does. And I was like, well, how much? And you know, he it's like seventy-five dollars. So for twenty extra horsepower, I'll take it back up there for a fucking seventy-five dollars, fellers. Um, I'll just suck that up. But whatever. So that'll come later. Not only do I gotta get the truck fixed and the tow hauler cooling properly, I gotta get the trailer fixed. So I gotta get this thing off here since God knows when it's been off. It's uh, there's ants nests and shit in it, so I'll take the big old pry bar and hammer to it and see what happens. Yeah, that looks nice. That's quality. I'll bolt right on there and stop like a dime. Stop on a dime. Stop like a dime. Look like a dime. Looks good. Well, I've resorted to sketchy shit and it's still not coming off. She's on there. It's them. The brake hardware is rusted onto the brake pads and the brake pads is rusted onto the daggum drum, so it's going to take some wickedness to get it off. That's what she's like after fighting it with the crowbar and the uh, old little tractor for a little bit. It's fucking men. We're gonna use these brake pads. Plenty of life left on them. If the ants like them, I do too. I'm not better than the ants. Boy. Sand blast these little guys or something other get them back usable, but it's off. It's a little baby, little baby intake. He ripped it pretty good going down the road.
Oh, it's fucked. He's got a headlight out. It's fucked. shenanigans like and subscribe there'll be some more stuff going on pretty soon <laughs>